Good morning, afternoon, and evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 2 class. Today we're going to continue with writing equations, linear equations using the point-slope form, but we're going to go ahead and crank it up a little bit and learn how to write parallel and perpendicular lines to a given equation going through a specific point. Okay? Before I teach you the actual concept, I want to kind of go over what parallel and perpendicular lines represent, how you can recognize them both on a graph and, more importantly, on an equation. Parallel lines, my friends, have equal slopes. Make no mistake about it. If the slopes are equal and they have different y-intercepts, then they are going to be parallel. A popular question is, Mr. Morrow, what happens if the lines have equal slopes and the same y-intercept? Well, then they're the same line, and that you know they're not parallel anymore. They're the same line. But if they have equal slopes and different y-intercepts, that means that they're parallel. That means that they will never intersect. If you notice here, these two lines here do not intersect. And if you investigate a little bit further, you see that the slope is 3 here. The slope is 3 here. The y-intercept is 8 here. The y-intercept is negative 4. So they have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. That means that they are parallel. Okay? That's what parallel lines are. Again, parallel lines are lines that never intersect, and they never intersect because they have different y-intercepts, but the same exact slope. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. I'm going to go over what negative reciprocals are in a second. But perpendicular lines are lines that have, that have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. Since their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, my friends, perpendicular lines, once intersected, will create perpendicular angles. A perpendicular angle is an angle that equals 90 degrees. Hopefully you remember that from geometry. If not, I just reminded you. Let's look at the slopes of these particular lines. This line over here on the left, the slope is negative one-third. The slope over here on the right is 3. Hey, wait a second. They have different y-intercepts, so that's good. They have negative reciprocal slopes. So that means they are perpendicular. That means that the point of intersection will be a 90-degree angle or a right angle. How can I tell between, a, a, you know, what is this negative reciprocal stuff? Well, let's look at a couple examples. Let's say this is my original slope, and then this is going to be my negative reciprocal. In order to find the negative reciprocal, my friends, simply multiply the original slope by a negative 1, and then flip it, literally. So if my original slope is 5, my negative reciprocal is negative 1 fifth. If my original slope is 2 thirds, then my negative reciprocal is negative 3 halves. If my original slope is negative 2, then my negative reciprocal is positive 1 half. If my original slope is negative 1 fifth, then my negative reciprocal is 5. So again, in order to find the negative reciprocal, simply 1 multiply the original slope, which I'll put in M here, by negative 1. Step 2, flip it. Whenever you flip a, a number or a fraction, that is finding the reciprocal. So, so lines that have negative reciprocal slopes, those lines are perpendicular. Where they intersect, you are creating a 90 degree or right angle. Okay? Does that make sense so far, my brothers? Pretty simple, right? Okay. you got to remember that parallel lines have equal slopes, and perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. Why must I remember this, Mr. Morrow? Because it's what we're going to be learning today. Okay. How to write equations for lines that are parallel or perpendicular to a given linear equation or graph going through a particular ordered pair. Guys, just like most things in, in algebra, there are steps, there are rules, there are procedures. You follow these steps, these rules, these procedures, you have no problems. 
you don't follow them, that is where the problems occur. So the first thing you want to do whenever they give you a situation where they say, find a parallel line to this given line going through this particular point. First thing you want to do is find the original slope of the given equation. They're going to give you an equation. Find that slope, my brothers. Step two, depending on what they ask, guys, find the parallel or perpendicular slope of the given equation depending on what you're looking for. If they ask you to write an equation that's parallel to the given line, then you're looking for the parallel slope, which is equal to the original. If they're asking for a perpendicular line to the given equation, then you're looking for the perpendicular slope, which is the negative reciprocal of the original. Then it's Mickey Mouse from there. You plug in the given point, your x1, y1, and the new parallel or perpendicular slope into the point-slope form, and then you solve for y into, y into slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. It's literally that simple. But you've got to be able to recognize what the parallel and the perpendicular slopes are. Yes, sir, my brother. So, just that, that parallel, it just has to be the same parallel lines have equal slopes, so it's equal to the original. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, so you find the original. You multiply by a negative, you flip it, that's the perpendicular slope, sir. Thank you, my brother. Yes, sir. Okay, if my slope is zero and I'm looking for a parallel line, then I got to look for the line that has a zero slope again. What kind of lines have zero slopes? Y equals equations have zero slopes. What, what kind of lines have undefined slopes? x equals. So if I give you a y equals equation and I give you a point and I say find a line that's parallel to this, you find the, the, the point that dignifies y and it's y equals that point. If it's perpendicular, you would go to the x because zero slope is perpendicular to an undefined slope. But let me go ahead and show you some examples and then we'll probably answer a lot of questions. Thank you so much for caring. Number one, Find an equation in slope-intercept form, which is A, parallel to y equals 6x minus 2 and passing through 1, negative 3. Label, 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 label. This is x1, y1. Step 1, what's my original slope? 6. Step 2, what's my parallel slope? Step 3, y minus y1 equals my new parallel slope, which is 6, times x minus x1. Step 4, solve for y. y plus 3 equals 6x minus 6. Subtract the 3 to both sides, my brothers, and I've got y equals 6x minus 9. That is my new parallel line. Like I promised you, it's the same thing as what we learned yesterday, writing equations using the point-slope form, but this time you have to designate the proper slope. Does that make sense, gentlemen? Now is the time to ask, my brothers. Sir. This isn't an 11. This symbol is parallel. All right, that's so, sir. Thank you, my brother. I apologize. And this symbol right here is perpendicular. I apologize for that. I assume that you knew that, and that was my bad. I'm sorry, kid. Okay? Thank you, my man. Okay, like I just finished saying, that it's not 11. That is a symbol for parallel. Thank you for caring. B. I want to find the equation to a line that is perpendicular to y equals negative 4x plus 5, passing through 8, 5. Label, 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 x1, y1. Step 1, what's my original slope? Negative 4. Step 2, what's my perpendicular slope? 1 over 4. Step 3, put it into point slope form. y minus y1 equals m which is 1 fourth times x minus x1. 
Why did I use one fourth? Because it's a perpendicular line, so I need to use the perpendicular slope. Step four, let's solve for y in y equals mx plus b form. So y minus 5 equals distribute the 1 fourth, 1 fourth x minus 2. Add the 5 to both sides, gentlemen, and y equals 1 fourth x plus 3. And that is my new perpendicular equation. Sir, you only flip the slope when it's perpendicular because the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. Correct. To find a negative reciprocal, you multiply the original slope by negative 1, and then you flip it. Thank you, sir, for caring. Thank you for your questions, my brothers. It's not that bad, is it? But you do got to remember some things, and you got to, and if you notice, I've been doing this a long time, guys. I never skip steps. Not because I'm cool, but because I want to get the right answer. I never skip steps. If you don't skip steps, you're going to be fine. May I continue? Okay. How about this guy? Write an equation of a line in slope intercept form that is parallel to y equals 2x plus 3 and passing through negative 3, negative 1. Label, 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 label. X1, Y1. Step one. What's my step one? Good job, brothers. Good job. Original slope. What's my original slope here? Yes. Step two. What's my parallel slope? Good job, my brother. Two, because parallel lines have equal slopes. Step three, plug it into the point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals the new parallel slope times X minus X1. Step four, solve for Y, my brothers. Y plus 1 equals 2X plus 6. Subtract 1 to both sides. Y equals 2X plus 5. Now is the time to ask, guys. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Sir. Yes, sir. If I give you an equation. It cannot be. If you go ahead and do this, guys, and your final answer is exactly the same as the original, then you messed up because then it's the same line, not the parallel line. No, you, you, you would get it wrong. You don't write the same line. You, you erase it all and do it again. It, won't, it will not happen like that. If I'm telling you that it's parallel to it, it's going to have the same slope but different y-intercept. Yes, sir, my brother. Thank you. I don't understand what that means. Oh, okay. When you're finding the, the perpendicular line, yes, sir. No, you check their slopes. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, then they're perpendicular. Okay, let's uh, do B. Write a line that is perpendicular to y equals 2 thirds x minus 1 going through 12, 5. Step 1. Label, 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 label. Very good, you got me. After that, what do I get? Original slope, which is? Now it's perpendicular line, so now I need to find the the perpendicular slope, which is negative 3 halves or negative 3 over 2. Step 3, plug it in. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Step 4, solve for Y. Y minus 5 equals negative 3 halves X uh, plus uh, 18. Add the 5 to both sides, and my answer is y equals negative 3 halves x plus 23. Now, how do I know if it's right, Mr. Moore? Well, look, the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. We're good. You're golden. Yes, sir. Well, if you're finding a perpendicular line and you don't have the negative reciprocal as a slope, I guess it's not perpendicular anymore. 
So what would happen is you would erase the question because you answered it incorrectly and you would do it again correctly. Thank you for, for asking and caring, sir. Excuse me for one. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, let us continue. All right. Determine if the given equations are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. What do you think we have to do here to prove if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Sir? Uh, for parallel, yeah, but what do you think we would have to do first? I know that you're looking for parallel has equal slopes, perpendicular have negative reciprocal slopes. What do you have to do here? You have to solve both for y. Thank you. So when I divide this by 4, I get y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 3. Are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Perpendicular because the slopes are negative reciprocals. Perpendicular. Step two, or, or, or B rather. They give you this one, Y is already solved. Here I got to solve for Y. So I subtract 4X to both sides. That gives me negative 3Y equals negative 4X plus 9. Divide by negative 3. That gives me Y equals 4 thirds x minus 3. So are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Neither. It is a reciprocal, but it's not a, a negative reciprocal, so it's neither. And C, let's solve for y. Divide by 6. y equals negative 1 sixth x plus 1. And then here I have already negative y equals negative 1 sixth x plus 6. Parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Parallel. No, they do not. 6 divided by 6, my brother, is 1. Oh, thanks for caring. Thanks for trying. He has said they have the same intercept. They don't because when I divide it y to both sides, I have to divide it to both the negative x and the 6. Thank you for caring, though. Does that make sense, gentlemen? Yes. Okay. Let me now throw a few curveballs at you. This is coming from the question that I was asked earlier. What if I say I want... a you to write an equation that is parallel to y equals 4 comma passing through 3 6 okay let's think about this visually and hopefully if i if i visualize this for you you will understand it so let me give me one second let me try to figure this out. Well, let me try to show you how to figure this out logically. You don't have to graph what I'm about to graph. I'm just trying to teach the concept. Y equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It was right here. Correct? What's the slope of that line? Okay, the slope is not 4. It's 0. So I'm looking for a parallel line to this. So the parallel line, what's my parallel slope? So my original slope here is 0. What's my parallel slope here? 0. So doesn't that mean it has to be another y equals equation? What's the, what's the y point that this is going through? What's the y point that this is going through? 6. So it's going to be y equals 6. Aren't these both parallel? And that's my answer. Ah, I got an O, so that means I did my job. Does that make sense, guys? Guys? Okay. Now, you sure? Okay. I'm going to split the screen so you can have this still, but I want to add one thing here. Now, what if I tell you I want you to find a perpendicular, the line that is perpendicular, perpendicular, to y equals 4. Let's do that again. But this time passing through, actually, let's do the same exact points, 3 comma 6. Okay. Let's think about this, guys. Come on. Yes? Okay. So, in this particular case, what's my original slope? My original slope is 0. Just so you can visualize it, y equals 4 is 1, 2, 3, right across horizontally. Slope is 0. What would my perpendicular slope be? 
undefined. Whoever said three, um, that's an x value, not a slope. So please pay attention and pay attention. My perpendicular has to be undefined. That's my perpendicular slope. What kind of a line has a perpendicular uh, has an undefined slope? X On x equals, what's the point that this? What's the the point that it goes through? Three. So one, two, three. That would be my perpendicular line. My equation is x equals three. Do you guys see visually what's going on here? Yes. You promise. Yes. So, my brother. Okay, no, why would you just write undefined for that? The answer is x equals 3. Okay, I'm not asking for the slope here. I'm asking for an equation. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. And have a wonderful day.